to it. Let's bring in Richard Haas, a man who obviously worked uh, in, in administrations with General Powell. Uh, Richard, your thoughts on the passing of a great American general? Look, it's, uh, it's hard because it's so personal for me. He was also a close mm -hmm. friend for more than four decades. We first worked together in 1979 at the Pentagon in the Carter administration. We obviously worked closely during the uh, Reagan, Bush, and Bush years, so we had a, a lot of life together. Uh, everything you and John Meacham have just said is true. What, what's so interesting, I think, important about Paul, and he was one of the most intellectually honest people I ever met. He was anti-ideology, anti can He was open-minded. What he constantly did was he processed information. He'd wake up in the morning, he'd go on certain websites, he'd speak to certain friends, and he was constantly adjusting his take on things, his worldview. He was, in some ways, the most practical man to understand Colin. I always thought the, the key, and I, got, I saw it, was he'd, be, he'd spent his spare time when he was younger putting together Volkswagen. And he'd be out uh, by the side of his house uh, up at the base. And there was something about it that was practical, mechanical, it was physical. You could see the results. He wasn't someone who spent his time uh, in theory. This was someone who was grounded in reality. And his views were totally, totally practical. He, uh, again, uh, centrist, practical, anti-ideological, open-minded, uh, not to mention decent and just a wonderful friend. He, he really was cut from, uh, it seems to me, uh, from, from the mold of another great American general, Dwight D. Eisenhower, uh, a guy who, uh, again, was seen by many people as being moderate uh, for General Powell. Uh, like Ike, he just had a question. What works? What doesn't work? And he would do his best to, do, to, to, to uh, move this country in the direction, move the military in the direction that he thought made the most sense. Hey, thanks so much for watching our YouTube channel. You can follow up on today's top stories and breaking news or catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.